Dear friends, without any doubt, signing and ratifying the Mexico, United States, and Canada Treaty has been an assertive decision on behalf of our people and nation. Economic integration in full respect for our sovereignty is the best instrument to face the competition stemmed from growth in other regions of the world, especially the productive and commercial expansion of China. We must not forget that while Canada, United States and Mexico account for 13 percent of the world market, China domains 14.4 percent. And this imbalance started out only 30 years ago. In 1990, China's share was 1.7%, and North America's was 16%. If the trend seen in the last decade should prevail for the next 30 years, by 2051, China would account for 42% of the world market and United States, Mexico and Canada would remain with 12%, which is, would not only be in an unacceptable disproportion in the economic sphere, it would keep the temptation alive to bet on sorting out the disparity with the use of force which would put us all in danger. This is why the best, the most convenient thing is to strengthen our economies, to strengthen our trade operations throughout North America and the entire continent, because there are several advantages. Among them, we have the workforce, we have young and creative workforce with technological development and with wealth of natural resources. The distance between our countries allows us to make savings in terms of transportation and there is sufficient demand within our markets. The per capita consumption of the continent is 18 thousand dollars on an annual basis, whereas it is four thousand dollars in Asia. Nonetheless, currently, consumers within our region have to wait in line to get home appliances or a car because we do not have semiconductors, chips, or because the maritime transportation prices went up. Although the deepest issue is that we are not producing enough and we are forced to importing merchandise from other countries. It is a paradox that so much money circulates throughout North America and the ports of the Pacific are overwhelmed for, with merchandise from Asia. And we must add the inflation impact entailed. Why can we not produce in North America what we produce? Well, of course we can. It is a matter of defining a regional economic strategy. And of course, this happens because we need to jointly plan our development and we should also foster a productive investment program throughout North America to replace the imports. And we must jointly define specific objectives and let leave myths and prejudice aside. We should no longer reject immigrants because in order to grow, you need workforce, the workforce that you do not necessarily have, nor in the US, nor in Canada. Why not study the work force demand, the labor demand, and open the migratory flow. 
the commercial treaty is a valuable instrument to consolidate our productive processes by embracing the huge potential represented by the internal market that will allow us to grow and develop as no other region of the world on behalf of our populations and nations. President Biden, no president in the history of the United States has expressed, as you have, such a clear and certain commitment to improve the situation of the migrants. And thus, I wish to express my acknowledgement. And I particularly refer to your proposal to regulate the migratory status of 11 million people who live and work honestly in this great nation. I hope that you have the support of Congress and the members of both the Democrat and Republican parties. Mexicans will be mindful and we will in turn express ourselves with respect and honesty and we will know how to correspond with gratefulness, with gratitude and friendship. President Biden, Prime Minister Trudeau, I'm sure that we can agree on the fact that we are living in, let's say, interesting times of adversity and challenges. But that's the way it is, and that's how creativity and passion can emerge in order to transform and make history. Thank you very much, and congratulations. Jake Sullivan. Thanks. We'll just uh, give the press a couple of minutes to leave the room before we get the meeting underway.